yeah, that's sensual. This is nice. <laughs> what a set you yeah. got going. What a what a <laughs> <laughs> what a. Se- okay. Yeah, this is, Sam invited me over to his room. I didn't know what was going to be happening in here. I walked in. I see this, and he was <laughs> enthralled. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. Couldn't turn away, <laughs> and here I am. Got right in bed. <laughs> All right, now we need to break down exactly what happened. First things first, I got here, and we went on a beautiful Ferris ride wheel. Wait. Ferris wheel ride. <laughs> Ferris wheel ride. Oh, yeah, that's going to be part of this. Isn't yeah, it? that's going to be. It's going to cut to that as soon as I say it. Hey, everyone. I'm here in Seattle, Washington, with my main man, Aqua FPS, for uh, PAX. We're taking a romantic stroll around the, the big Ferris wheel. Bizzle, show him the sunset. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That really just gets the loins going, doesn't it? It's been a, it's just been a really magical evening. We had dinner on the water, and now we're in a Ferris wheel together. And who knows what could happen now? You know. I don't. You know, after we got off, the conductor of the Ferris wheel said that he has never seen that much sexual tension in one cabin. <laughs> in on one the- Ferris wheel car. <laughs> It's Bizzle Snap, dude. He it is. It. He's the most know? laid back guy in the history of laid back guys. Yeah. He makes the dude look like he's high strung. <laughs> <laughs> he's just so laid back. Yeah. You know, in that bar that we were in, the lodge, we we're in this bar downstairs. I could I could barely hear him because he talks so softly. And that was a quiet place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the one downstairs. Anyways, so uh, uh, we're here in the hotel room. In the p- Pacific, put my robe on. <laughs> Go put your no. Uh, yet, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right right, one second. Yeah. Let me put this robe on. <laughs> We're here at the executive. What's this place called? Executive Pacific. The executive Pacific. And we're just laying in the cup, baby. <laughs> you know, we're taking it easy. Big boy YouTubers like us, we do a lot of work. <laughs> okay, I won't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without breaking that shit. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. My legs are are sweating <laughs> pretty badly. I got all these cords going across my belly. That's fine. You know, they flew us out here to relax. You know, here we are, just taking it deep. back, <laughs> taking a break from the grind. You know. Just chilling in the bed with my with my boy, dude. If you can't <laughs> if you can't chill in the bed with your bro, I mean, like, <laughs> like what's the point? They the actually event? just got us one room. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> and so. We, uh, you know, the, at first they were trying to sit there and like, yeah, we like to think we're bargains. You know, if you book us for an event, we're gonna bring the heat and we're gonna save you some money. So they were like, hey, let's get you two rooms uh, with king size beds, and we said no. We no. want one room. And they're like, all right, one room, two queen size beds. And we we're like, no. <laughs> we and they're like, okay, <laughs> one room, two twin beds. And they're like, we're like, no. <laughs> we want one room with one queen size bed. That's all we need. We come in, we bring the ruckus, <laughs> and we cheese out of there. And that's, that's what we're here to do. <laughs> Can I, can I tell my horrible getting here story? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please. I, w- I want to hear it, actually. Yeah, I, had, I have, like, a series of mental bullet points. I was supposed to write all this shit down because it was a wild adventure, man. I was supposed to be here. We're at PAX West, by the way, in Seattle. I was supposed to be here fucking yesterday. And I show up. I show up to uh, 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 45 minutes before boarding starts, which I thought was ample time to go through TSA in a small town. And, uh, and I start going through at like, uh, you know, it was like four something in the morning. I woke up at 3 a.m. in order to get there. And my stupid, uh, did your phone just go off in the middle of my podcast? Yeah, my incredibly professional sorry podcast? Sorry that, yeah. You know, I, it's a pretty relaxed setting. It I, is. I, it I, is. I, I, I've just been, You know, if you want to check. I just melted right into this podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, can't, I, can't, I didn't really prep for this. If you want to check your texts and stuff, you know, you yeah, can go for what? it. Maybe it's just take a little look. As relaxed as you can get. Oh, uh, it's Dave. Forget well, it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy who yeah. flew us out here. You know what? Yeah, he, His important. name's Dave, <laughs> but me and Bizzle have started calling him Douchebag Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead Dave. Yeah. Um, 
anyways, so I, I got to the airport ample time, and uh, and I'm sitting there going through TSA, and they decide to uh, randomly swab my fingertips for uh, explosive material, <laughs> I guess. And so they swab them, and then it. You look very. Suspicious. I do. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've always thought when I think of like someone that should be on the cover of Vogue. I've always looked at that uh, the the sketch of the the Unabomber, <laughs> you know, with those aviators and that. He was kind of a trendsetter. He was, to be honest, uh, good yeah. looking dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude. You, it, Bizzle kind of looked like him today, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> actually, with the aviators. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, they swabbed my fingertips, put it in the little machine, and found uh, uh, explosive residue or something like that. And so then they started going through all my bags and i brought nothing but this camera gear podcasting gear shit to make videos with and they were going through every you know what this is the real kicker because i made that video making fun of uh rip torn dying <laughs> the fucking tsa agent looked like yeah. rip torn that was <laughs> it was some sort of cosmic justice <laughs> the guy looked like rip torn with a toupee on he and he got, he got you <laughs> got me and he was sitting there and i was like watching first things first they they were like oh, uh disabled people that are boarding you can board and i was like watching everybody board onto the plane and the and the guy was sitting there slowly swabbing everything i had and putting in this machine to see if it had like if it was a bomb and he kept going through one thing and i'm talking every battery every adapter it didn't matter and then, and then at the end, he tried, like, this is an expensive piece of equipment that I paid nothing for. Thank you, Rode Microphones. <laughs> and, um, and, and he was sitting there smashing that thing back into the, and I was, by the time I got out of there, my plane had left. And so then they put me on standby for the next flight. And this is the funny part. <laughs> there was this Jewish family there that they were all the most Jewish you could get. They were, who's that guy that, uh, that like Jewish director, actor, Woody Allen, they were all doing a great Woody Allen impression, <laughs> except for the only, the rock in that relationship. And I feel like the rock in every Jewish relationship is the woman. Yeah, that's right. And this Jewish woman was just like holding it all together. Like this whole family. And the dad was just like, Oh my God, I just, I can't, I did everything. He, was, right. he must've been a wreck. <laughs> I did everything right. I just, I just can't, <laughs> they had apparently spent the night in the, in the airport. And they were up there at the counter the whole time. Just, I can't believe it. I've done everything right. I mean, what, what's going on? Why can't we get on this flight? And, uh, and so they ended up nabbing every available seat on the standby. And then the next standby came like five hours later, right? So this yeah. is like 10 hours I've been at the airport in my own city within fucking eyesight of my goddamn house. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst part like i'm like i'm not that this far idiot from home. fucking stayed here the whole time i had to because of the standby if i'm not there going like sucks it put me on the flight you know because i'm not going to go back through security and have rip torn destroy my <laughs> anus for the second like he time completely forgets about you yeah does it all over again. does it the whole thing swabs everything yeah so uh oh, rip yeah <laughs> you rascal god damn it so i i ended up having to uh <laughs> I ended up having to go through, uh, uh, I think it was two flights that were standby. And then, you know, my town's not very big, so we didn't have many flights going to uh, Charlotte because that's where my layover was at. And uh, they, and so I, you know, I said, fuck it. I went down to Delta. <laughs> I said, Delta, you give me my f uh, first class ticket to Seattle. I want to be there as soon as possible because the next day I have to meet my fans at PAX. Because, you know, with me, it's all about fan service. I'm all about the fans. You could tell that from uh, the event today. Yeah. Uh, everything. Didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I have video proof of how upset all of his viewers were. Uh -huh. they, they, they knew me. And they came up to me and they're like, where's Sam? <laughs> I'm like, where, the, where is he? <laughs> yeah. Basically, I actually gained a sub. Uh, yeah. One of them walked up to me. He's like... I'm just here for Sam, but I know who you are. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and we got to talk, and he was actually, he was all right. And then he decided that you're much cooler than Sam uh, says you are. I'm going to sub to you now. So I got one from you. Because oh, nice. you didn't show up. It, it, yeah, you know, because I'm always shitting on him in my videos. You got to, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think... I don't think I've ever said a positive thing about you. I don't think it's always been... 
I don't know how that started, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, I at first it was I like don't mind. at it's first right. I thought it was going to be like a friendly rivalry, and it's then because I was too nice. To you, you never when I hit. You. you never hit back ever. So now it's I feel like an asshole because it's just a one sided bully. You are an asshole. But that's not the point. The point is all right. So anyway, <laughs> so I go to Delta right, and 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 the guy's like, "Yo, I can get you there by uh, 10 a.m." I was like, "Perfect. That's just in time for the thing. I can get to the apartment or get to the hotel, uh, rest for a minute, and then go to the event, which starts at 12:30." And then I go home. I start sleeping. Abby comes home and she comes in like I'm dead ass asleep, and she comes in and just says, "Um." I had left the boarding pass on the on the foyer foyer table, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and uh, she comes in and looks at the the boarding pass and just says out loud, doesn't even say hi to me or anything. I'm dead ass asleep. She just goes, "Honey, why does your destination say Cincinnati <laughs> instead of Seattle? That's what this fucking thing you is." You didn't look at it. I said, I, I told the guy, I was like, I need to go to fucking Seattle. He says, "Oh, Seattle." I'm like, "Yeah, Space Needle and shit, Seattle." He's like, oh, Seattle, Washington, beautiful. Why the fuck in a million years would I look at the boarding pass and just to see if he fucked up? It's not even like they start with the same letter. No, you it's know? not like even didn't close. didn't autofill or anything? No, just, the guy's just fucking stupid. Yeah. So the second she said, why do you go, why does it say Seattle? I just like, in the bed, like I, <laughs> it looked like Thriller or something where he's got the, the invisible <laughs> rope on him. Yeah, like I just, out of bed. And, uh. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, it says Cincinnati. And I, I called Delta. And of course, there's not a human that works there. It's just all machines, yeah. <laughs> you know, on the thing. I was like, I just need to go to Seattle. What? It's not on battery. Didn't you plug it in? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Sam, stay in bed. Come on. Where are you going? <laughs> what do you mean? I did plug it in. What are you, nuts? I'm looking right at what it. What are you talking about? I ain't plugged in. You plugged in like one corner of it. That's not true. Create the archway. <laughs> I can dive under. Okay. Can I keep my legs out of this thing? Because, like, I am burning up. Yeah, it's, it's hot in here. Yeah. I, I really want to take the robe off, too, but I, I <laughs> got to keep it on. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Right, oh look! It just a you motherfucker. Oh, you were talking about how your ticket said Cincinnati. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You suck it. Like the easiest thing. No, <laughs> it's <laughs> it is really. I mean, you you did get kind of screwed over. I got there. screwed over a little yeah. bit. Anyway, so I ended, I ended up uh, uh, making it to. Uh, now, I ended up calling in the middle of the night and getting him to, like, rebook or something. I ended up showing up at, like, 4 o'clock, which sucks because I missed the uh, the first round of people at PAX. But you know what? It's okay because I got here late in the afternoon, ended up having dinner with the boy and Bizzle. Had a nice Ferris wheel ride. It was very nice. Yeah. It was. We got a great look at downtown Seattle. Got to see the Space Needle. Yeah. That was important. Yeah. That was on my to-do list. You know what else? Uh, we should, oh, we probably don't have time. But what? I, w- I want to, like, go in it. They have, like, one of those floors <clears throat> with the glass where you stand on the glass and, like, you look like you're about to die. Oh, yeah. And, like, you know. You know, I've always wanted to feel like I'm about to die but not actually die. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of. a rare feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Unless yeah. you're, like, a heroin junkie or someone that goes up to the top of the Space Needle. Those are the two <laughs> times. Where you're like, I feel like I'm about to die. <laughs> now, uh, can we talk about the the elephant in the room that we haven't spoken about yet? What's that? Um, so I made a video promoting your server. <laughs> oh yeah, and then shitting at the same time, shitting all over Max Mears. Uh huh. And then Max Mears turns around wow. and does like a hit piece on you and your server, and then he tells me it's a joke. And he didn't even say a word about you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He like took it all out on me. You know like, what the funny part about this is? Is I feel like I've started a dog fight and then I just get to sit there and watch. <laughs> <laughs> you like get, somehow this I. This is all for your amusement. Isn't I it? did this to try to help you out yeah. and it blew up in your face. Well, nothing you do works <laughs> out. You know that. Everything you do harms me in some w- right? in one way or another. It does. But. But that one was yeah. funny because he said it was a joke, and you can clearly tell from his video he is not joking. Okay, there so is yeah, no not joking. at all. <laughs> not at all. He, you said that he didn't have 
toaster strudel. <laughs> yeah, I said you didn't have toaster he strudel. He called me an extortionist <laughs> yeah. and a scammer. <laughs> no, I didn't just say that. I said I said his logo sucks, which I'm standing oh, by right. that. I'm stand and I'm standing by the toaster strudels. I was in his server for two days and I didn't see a single fucking toaster strudel dog. That's true. I didn't see a single one. What kind of shit server is that, Max? Right? <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, I mean, his he 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 also talked about how my servers pay to win, as if that's like a bad like. I provide you know I provide very meager kits to those who want them, and that's kind of like market. But he's like turned this whole little army of kids against me. You know what's so. funny is all the people that are mad are people that wouldn't have bought it to begin with. Yeah. So you're losing nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Honestly, like you, if anything, you help promote his server, you know? Yeah. It's like he didn't say anything bad about it. No. He really like went out of his way to yeah. like really come at me. Yeah. You know what's funny is actually, uh, I think, I would think like 30% of my video, like after I shit on his server, a lot of that footage is still on his server. Yeah. You know, I, I just, I happen it's to. It's a I, fine server. Yeah. Max, your server's it. fine. You don't need to be so mean about my <laughs> server, okay? <laughs> like, No, it was a joke. It you was a joke. You it was a complete No, no, no. His, his side was a joke. You didn't hear his joking attitude? Oh, yeah. It sounded He like was hitting joke. one-liners back, back to back, man. I saw one comment. It was like, someone said, like, I bet Max didn't even put a second thought into what Sam said. And then someone else commented, like, it looks like he put a third and a fourth thought into it, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you know what is is actually great is all these people from his uh, video came in and, like, started shitting on me, which I oh, love. Did they? Oh, oh, yeah. I you, love you that. love that. I love it. Yeah. There's nothing I love more than when, like, I made that whole, like, dip nation thing where I just shit on oh, rednecks yeah. that dip. And, like, dude, for, like, three months, I would just wake up with a raging heart on knowing that there was just... <laughs> There's nothing better than going to sleep and knowing <coughs> that while you're sleeping, doing nothing, bothering nobody, there's people that are just bent out of whack, angry at you. So angry that they're coming just to your video to just... knuckling, <laughs> yeah. just upset ah. while you're just comfortable. And I don't even know they exist. <laughs> just chilling in your robe in Seattle, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I wake up, I get on there, and there's people just like, you don't even know what dip is. <laughs> like... And there was a lot of people from uh, Rust. You know, I know Face Punch is, is uh, paid for me to come out here, and I know that I'm supposed to be promoting their merchandise, but uh, there's a lot of fucking uh, losers that play Rust. <laughs> and a lot of those people were the ones that came in and commented. They, anyone that takes a game that seriously, I don't care what it is, it could be backgammon. You're a loser. If, <laughs> if you are that, like... You're not going to the Olympics for rust. Like what? Like what the fuck? They have gamer pride, dude. They have some serious gamer pride. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I just want my server to be able to like pay for itself, you know? Like why would I just dump money into a server like for the for the love of of rust? Like uh, yeah, it's a great game and but like We're YouTubers. We don't have passion. We don't have love for anything except for money. No, that's Numbers. what I'm that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I don't want to, like, make a server and just, like, have to beg people to support it. Like, That's why we're billionaires, sharing a hotel room. You look at us. We're with living a, large out with here. With a queen-size bed. <laughs> they couldn't even get yeah. us two rooms. Yeah. They actually made us share a toothbrush. We alternate days on who gets to go first. I brought one. Sam immediately took it and <laughs> threw it in the trash, so we had to share. We had to share it. And this is our first time meeting. <laughs> yeah. was, I thought that was a little forward, actually, but... I've, you know, I you know see what? where he's coming from at this point. I did so. that power move, and I said that wasn't forward enough. <laughs> <laughs> I got other things in store. Anyway, <laughs> hey, you want to hear how professional this podcast is? Mm. I, I called Aqua. I was like, "Hey, dude, I'm going to be busy. Uh, come up with things to talk about." <laughs> yeah. So, so let me, let I me made just start by this is the only fucking podcast in history where the guest has to come up with their own interview. <laughs> What kind of fucking what what kind of what, what kind, kind of, of thing are you running here? What kind of ramshackle this procedure is, am I doing? Like here? not only like the set is wonderful. I, I am I'm it's really cozy, I'm loving right? this. I've never been so comfortable. But but the fact that you you couldn't even think like you know me very well. You couldn't yeah. think of 
something to fucking talk to me about? Well, I got other questions. I'm busy too. Well, Wellen's here and he's a big YouTuber, so I came up with questions for him. I, cu I couldn't waste my questions on small fry aqua, you know? That's fair. <laughs> that's, just, that's understandable. That's just dumb. <laughs> what a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I <laughs> you want to see my notes for the podcast? Yeah. That's all I got. It's one It's one bullet point. First gaming obsession. Yeah. All what right, was, let's start there. What was your first gaming obsession? Because, look, I see you sitting there like, this guy, all of a sudden, uh, 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 World of Warcraft Classic came out, and he just starts going gung ho on that, like it's a. Uh, oh uh, man, I'm loving it. Like it's sliced bread. Yeah, it's the great, it, the greatest thing since. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, I you know I was a big fan back in the day in like oh five oh four whenever it came out. Yeah. And I've you been know what waiting I was doing in since then. What? Getting laid. No, I'm not. I was I was like fucking fourteen. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you were. <laughs> no, I totally wasn't. <laughs> I was not cool enough for that. Yeah, me neither. It took me a while to figure <laughs> that one out. You know what's funny? Is there was a kid in seventh grade that got a blowjob in the bathroom. And I remember uh, after it happened, it was, sure? it was so early. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was early enough where people were like, they felt sad for him. You know? Like in, in eighth grade, you would be like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's early. But like seventh and sixth grade, like the girl was in sixth grade, the guy was in seventh grade. We we're like, ooh, you come from a broken home. <laughs> really? <laughs> no fucking normal person starts giving blowjobs in sixth grade. That's, that's to early. To a seventh grader, yeah. you know? Like it was. I feel like early. every school had that though. Yeah. Like I remember there was this story that <laughs> apparently. Uh, I don't know. Some girl like became very known for that kind of thing at a very early age. Yeah, yeah. And, and you feel bad for him. You know? Mm. Are you sure he didn't just make it up? Uh, I feel like there was a lot of made up things like that. Yeah, you know, it school, could it could have been. It could have yeah. been. Yeah. Whatever. You know, we should probably get off the topic of underage sex. <laughs> Well, you brought as, it up. as we're laying in <laughs> bathrobes in a hotel room, <laughs> just two creepy old guys in robes talking yeah. about, yeah, yeah, okay. kids boning. First gaming obsession. No, nah, so about that Epstein guy. <laughs> do you go to one of those parties <laughs> no. in your robe? No, I don't. Eh. Dude, do you think you, how how crazy is that shit? Right? Did you Someone hear? Killed him. You think so? Someone killed I him. Do. Yeah, I do. You think they hired a? Uh, uh, um, who do you think they they got to kill him? Mm. Probably the guy who does all the splits in those movies, Van Dam. Yeah, someone like that. I was I was gonna say Dwayne the Rock Johnson went there and <laughs> karate chopped him in the throat. Yeah, one of those guys. Yeah, Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers. <laughs> oh my god, I would I would be willing to go out by Carl Weathers. I would I would be happy to get choked out by Carl Weathers. Yeah, I'm fine with that. He he could make it quick. <laughs> yeah, he, seen those arms, yeah, dude. God damn, He'll just crush your windpipe. Like no. This. <laughs> no big deal. Now I I heard some story that he he was able to purchase girls' panties while in prison. Carl Weathers? Not Carl Weathers. You fucking Epstein. <laughs> Epstein, I, you psychopath. I was, he didn't even go to prison. I don't think. No, fucking Epstein purchased girls' panties. Really? Be yeah, before he died. It was like a week before he died. He ordered girls' panties and got them. Like, what the, this guy's a pederast in prison for touching kids, and they, they let him order Where'd girls' panties. It was on the fucking news. Shit. Yeah. And here I am, a grown ass adult, can't even order girls' panties at my place because my wife would see them. This guy's it locked down in prison. Well, if you're gonna order, yeah, that's the place to do <laughs> that's it. That's the place know? to do it. God damn. It's like, you so know. what? What you're saying is being married is worse than being in prison. <laughs> what you're saying? I mean, if you're in trying to of, order panties in terms of restrictions, <laughs> <laughs> which you would think a prison would be the most restrictive place there is. You're well, literally not that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Turns out being married is worse than that. Yeah. You know, so when guys come to me, <laughs> I'm getting know, married soon. So really? <laughs> you can't make a second. Oh, oh, How am I going to order? Yeah. 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 I am. yeah. yeah. Well, How people, is it so far? Is it okay? What, marriage? Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. 
your laundry gets done. Eh, yeah, I mean, I'm not married, and it still gets done. Oh uh, no! Like I, I was, I was dating Abby for forever, and then she came up with the idea of getting married, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, why the fuck would I pay extra money to keep doing the same shit we're doing? But then she was like, eh. like every conversation was about that. So I was like, all right. And then her fucking friend got married. So I was like, all right, I might as then well. You, yeah, you, yeah you have to. Then you're sunk. Every Zales commercial came on and she was staring up. up. Just as, as soon as it came on. Glaring. <laughs> she was just like staring at me. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Did and you go to Jared or Zales? No, I went to a, 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 a custom jewelry place and I got a ring yeah. made. Me too. I, I picked out a, a look at us. We're classy guys yeah, in our robes, you know, custom jewelry. Yeah, rings. I picked out the the diamond, and then uh, and then I I picked out the setting for it and everything. It's it's pretty dope, man. You know what's cool is is uh, I picked out the diamond, and and the lady's like it has a slight imperfection in it, and and my mom saw it, and she's like, oh, don't tell Abby because women don't want to hear about imperfections in their ring, right? And uh, this it's not i think it's cool it's like even if the diamond falls out into a pile of other diamonds i can find this one it's it, special it, it's a diamond and in the middle of it is a black shard huh. in like in the like the setting like at the base you know how it tapers down that seems like appropriate for you it's cool i think it's cool yeah you know it's like a, it's a wacky diamond uh, and and it came with a, a hefty discount because nobody else wanted the wacky <laughs> diamond. Everybody else wants that perfect shit, you know, where it looks like it's made in a lab. Mine, you know, I could tell mine got clawed out of the ground by some African feller. <laughs> you know? That's, that's that natural shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I got one that's like an optical illusion. Oh, like, yeah? Lo- it's, it's like large looking, but it's But like it's not flat. actually... <laughs> It's flat. Oh. Yeah. The ultimate Jewish diamond. It's yeah. an optical illusion. It looks huge, but it it's really looks not. Good, but it's not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got her uh, a graphene uh, slate of diamonds. My fiance will never watch this. <laughs> oh, yeah. She doesn't watch anything I'm in. Oh, None really? of my videos, nothing. So. You know, uh, <laughs> my wife d- actually fucking wishes I'd drop dead. So <laughs> I doubt she'll ever watch anything of mine. You know why? Because that fucked up diamond you got her. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's a shard in it. Start to a marriage, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, she, uh, yeah, she's not into any any videos. I mean, she doesn't even think I'm funny. She's like, I don't get it. You know who's a big fan of yours? Who? My dad. What really? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, my Daddy dad. Aqua. My dad watches some of my stuff and then found you. Yeah, and he he actually wants your autograph. Oh hell yeah, dude, Daddy Aqua. <laughs> he's gonna be at the booth tomorrow. Oh, is he? No. Oh, no. oh my god, dude, I was so excited. No, he's he's a big fan of yours. He thinks you're very funny. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you know he's a big fan of yours. Fucking nobody. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I knew you were gonna say it. Like, you, I, like you I, prep for it. I, I, I'm not even surprised. That you, like, I just, I just, you know, I just snap every once in a while. You, your fucking Dave was pissing me off. He just kept like bugging in my yeah. ear. So I was just like, hey, you know what you are? He's like, what? I'm like a fucking Irish prick. Shut up. <laughs> like, just, yeah, that was. I, I was just, impressed by that. I just fucking shit on him. Out yeah, of he was like, he was telling you you sound nasally or something. Yeah, right? you're yeah. like you sound a lot more nasally in person. <laughs> And you go, you know, you sound like a fucking Irish prick. <laughs> Just like that. But like, really like. Really deadpan. Yeah. And he was like, oh, well, I'm kind of stuck with this guy. So I got to make, like, <laughs> kind of take it like a joke. Yeah. I don't know. I, I got fucking, you can get on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, Dave, if you're watching this, it was great working with you. And I hope uh, <laughs> we have a lot of further business together. Yeah. But, uh. <laughs> See you next year, Dave. Yeah. You have any talking points, though? Did you actually prepare at all? Not really. No. <laughs> oh, God. You're fucking. Uh, I thought maybe we could talk about um, just how, like, just shit you did before, like, you got into, like, sitting in front of your computer all the time. You know? Like, like what the, f- like, I feel like we caught, like, the tail end of, like, when you actually had to, like, do things you know like video games and things like that and like the internet and all that 
wasn't around when we were kids. Yeah. You know? So, like, we caught, like, a little taste of the old country. You know what I mean? Okay. And so, like, are you talking, like, childhood? Like, what did 90s kids do? No. No? Or are you talking about, like, occupation before YouTube? Either one. Whatever. Or, like, for fun. Both. Okay. For example, you start. Okay. And Yeah. So, I understand what the fuck you're talking you're trying to explain you know i went from like a guy who was like outside skateboarding all the time doing all kinds of stuff recreational activities like what i do okay yeah exactly yeah and i i just i completely everything changed as soon as like i picked up like diablo 2 and like world of warcraft i'm like forget rust i'm like a blizzard guy all the way yeah you know that's that's the good stuff. Not so much lately, but, you know. But I don't know. It was, it's just, like, a weird thing. Like, I remember, like, when, like, instant messaging, like, came out. And, like, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. What was that? You look like a fucking power surge. I don't know what that was. <laughs> No, I, uh, uh, I kind of know what you mean. I um, Before YouTube, or before just gaming... I kind of i i was i did it to hang out with friends. I did like sports. I don't get sports. I didn't either. I don't now. I, I don't know who. How could you like a sport? Like no, I could see liking a single sport. And and by the way, this is going to bring up a very interesting argument that I have with people. And it's uh, it, there's a difference between sports and games. Baseball is a game. There's a rule book. <laughs> There's plays. What are you trying to say here? Football is a game. You know what a sport is? Who can throw a fucking javelin the farthest? Who can run the fastest? Who can swim the uh, the fastest? See, that's the kind of stuff I like to watch. That's sports. That's sportsmanship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but like, there's a difference between a sport and a game. And a lot of these fucking like games are now, they're big sporting events. And, uh, you know... I think football is about as uh, sport like as like monster truck rallies, because <laughs> they consider NASCAR a sport. So why can't monster trucking be a sport? Have you ever been to a monster truck rally, dude? You better plug your ears, son, because that shit will blow your ass off. <laughs> really? Yeah, they fight you, shove cotton in your ears and stuff. It's that loud? It is fuck. Those things are loud as hell. Dang. I have no idea why, man. But I've always wanted to go. They're intense, dude. You pay for the whole seat, but you only use the edge. <laughs> oh man they, i like that they're intense yeah they are intense they, it, it's and it's so stupid it is like the most mind <laughs> dulling thing like you're just watching this guy with a big like they look like they defy gravity it looks like neil armstrong when he's floating around on the moon like they just kind of go up and yeah, go I, every foot, every like video i've seen of it they just like everything is in slow motion yeah i just assumed it was in slow motion but i no. guess it's like that's just how it is it's not a fucked up frame rate on the camera that's they, they just float around yeah and then eventually like uh, uh one of them always catches fire and they have to go drag the guy out of it and so you're like oh he might get burned every time up. yeah well that's exciting yeah, that's the exciting part it's like everybody goes to nascar just waiting for the guy to crash into the wall turn <laughs> into a ball of fire you know it's a uh, modern day uh gladiator shit. yeah yeah they should bring back gladiators but for like death row victims or death row inmates they made a movie about that did they yeah with uh steve austin i don't know what it's called but it was stone cold steve austin yeah, the stone cold the man himself. oh i've you know i spent a lot of my life actually collecting um academy award winner movies so that would obviously be in my collection i've never heard of it <laughs> uh did it did it not win that year it must have been nominated. No, it, it was probably just nominated. Yeah. 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 It was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good one. I don't remember what it was called, but uh, <laughs> it was a, it was like the Hunger Games before the Hunger Games, but <laughs> way less successful. Yeah. <laughs> and generally disliked by, by most that, it, that saw it. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was all right. I don't know. You ever see... Uh, you ever see... Um Oh, I don't even know why my fucking thought process went to this, but I was thinking of uh, the original Battle Royale movie, which yeah, I did. inspired Hunger Games. And then for some reason, I thought of also another, I think, Korean movie 
was or Japanese movie was Infernal Affairs, mm-hmm. and then they they made The Departed as an ad- adaptation. Yeah, actually, my first date with my uh, now fiance, she brought over Battle Royale, and we watched that, and I thought to myself. What the fuck is wrong with this girl? <laughs> and why is she showing me this? Um, but yeah, I, I saw it. I don't really remember it very well because I was trying to like act all cool, and I was trying to figure out how to like, you know, put the moves the moves on her a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I I saw it, but like I don't I don't remember it very well. Huh. Yeah. Was the uh, uh, was the date successful? No, no. <laughs> no it was, actually, I actually she she uh, she had a boyfriend, and, At the I, and time? I stole her. <laughs> I stole her. Oh man! And uh, she didn't need, she she didn't even like me right away, and I still I, it still worked out that way, which uh. was weird. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's, uh, Abby hated my guts for years. I think no, probably for like a year. <laughs> still. still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> up to this day. <laughs> yeah. No, she she hated my guts like the first year we knew each other because I was so mean to her. But I think I was at that age where because you know we've been dating since Nam, and uh, so you're mean to people you like. Is that what it is? I I think yeah, I was like the you know the kid that like dunks the girl's hair pigtails in the paint kind of. I think Sam's in love with me or something. Is that what he, it is? he loves teasing me? You know. I think what it is is if I don't fuck with you, I don't like you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I don't sit there and like pick on you, then you're not you're not worth the time. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're someone I'm genuinely nice to, it's not, an act. Not looking yeah. good for you, buddy. <laughs> I don't actually. I, I don't yeah. enjoy our time. <laughs> well, that's comforting. That's, yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, not many people you would you would share a hotel room with, you know? Yeah. <laughs> save save some money. Share a toothbrush. I'm so flattered. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. What's your daily routine like? I like to hear about people's daily routines. I'm like interested in vlogs and shit like that. I don't know why. Do you, do you find that interesting? Like like just a little peek into other people's lives. Only if it's real. No, I want like, the I real feel, I, I want feel the like, real thing. I feel like Casey Neistat his first year, like you said earlier, his first year is very genuine. Yeah. But then, because he has such an exciting life, but then he started getting wacky trying to make things different because you can only have so wacky of a life, you know? Right. It's not like he was in the fucking French Foreign Legion or something, saving kids <laughs> all day. So, uh,. <laughs> I was just fascinated with his studio. Yeah, like, like yeah. that was so cool. In his like work ethic and everything. Yeah. But uh, you know, I could make uh, one, maybe two vlogs, and then you'd be like, okay, that sums up Sam. Because see, I'm just not interesting enough. I'm not. I, I saw I saw one of your vlogs where you're like, this is this is some Sam shit. This is gonna <laughs> be a very like I I think most of it was you cleaning your desk off. Yeah. And and like writing shit down. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like me. Uh, I, I think you went to Chick Fil A too. <laughs> oh, of course. From what I remember. Yeah. Now my my average day is uh, I I lay in bed and I hear my wife uh, dealing with the baby and I act like I'm asleep until they're both gone. <laughs> and then I crawl out of the bed and I take a shower. What time is this? The second she leaves the fucking house. I don't know what time that is. <laughs> But around okay. seven thirty, mm-hmm. you know, because this okay, this is how this is how a baby works. You feed them breakfast, which is fine. If she just if I all I had to do was feed her breakfast, that would be great. I would love it. I would spend so much time with my daughter in the morning, just feeding her breakfast, watching her walk around and shove little pieces of French toast in her mouth. But as soon as she finishes breakfast, she takes a big fucking shit, and she fills up that diaper. It's like clockwork. And I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to wake up and sip a cup of joe and clean diarrhea at the first 30 minutes I'm awake. I'm not going to do it. So what are you getting at here? I, I'm a bad dad. That's what I'm getting <laughs> at. So anyway, so just... I lay out of that. No, I, I sleep through it until I uh-huh. hear, usually I hear the door slam as she's leaving. And that wakes me up. I crawl into the shower. I brush my tooth. 
And then uh, I have uh, iced coffee every morning, an iced fucking coffee. If I have regular coffee, I start sweating, and my yeah. day's ruined. In the summertime, forget about it. Yeah. Iced coffee, it, yeah. It, it's Florida. It's always summer. They say there's seasons, oh, but there's right, not. Yeah. They All of a sudden, they start selling pumpkins. It's still 98 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> like, you whatever. want a pumpkin spice <laughs> latte while you yeah. sweat? <laughs> while you sweat your balls off? Yeah. Sure. That that just ruins the, the charm of it, <laughs> yeah, honestly. It does. <laughs> yeah, you got to move. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> So uh, yeah, and then uh, and then I sit down at the computer, and I edit, or I record. I also have started spending a lot of time pre-planning out videos, like kind of scripting things, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I I have like I have oodle. Look at this. This is my Google Keep thing. These are all video ideas. See all this shit. Oh wow! It just keeps going, baby. I got I got a list too. It's not quite that ex- extensive, but. Like, uh, I got uh, interview questions tomorrow for uh, I'm going to I'm going to trap Wellen out in the middle of packs and ask him some questions. Uh, and most of them are uh, height related, <laughs> you know, because he's kind of a manlet <laughs> and he's not uh, that much of a manlet. He's a manlet. I guarantee you, if he was, you're, you're much taller than uh, than I thought. If, if he was four inches taller, he wouldn't be ripped. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking know it. He's like, he's got like Napoleon syndrome or something like that. He's going to see this podcast. He's going to come down to my house and rip my legs off with his bare, his bare muscly arms. Dude, that guy is, he's wired. (laughs) He is wired. He'll, he'll rip your legs off and then eat them. He's somehow calmer in his videos. (laughs) <laughs> you would think like people, you know, usually when He's people excited, come yeah, on, when people go to make a video, they, they're like, okay, it's time to put on my excited face. Right. Cause I'm making a video. I feel like Willen calms down for his videos. Either that or he's been on some coke. <laughs> <laughs> he might be on coke. That guy, he's wired, man. He's, he's an exciting person. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so a, far, it's been an interesting trip meeting yeah. meeting everybody. Yeah, you know, all know? the people I've, I've met so far are pretty cool. I've only talked to Serge for like two seconds. He was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Sir Winner's uh, cool. Bizzle's yeah. the fucking man. Dude. He's he, the third part to our magical evening. Yeah, <sighs> what a man. Yeah, God, gosh, he's got a body like Adonis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like Fabio. Yeah, but better. Yeah, because Fabio <laughs> isn't laid back. Yeah, you know? he seems like an uptight prick. Yeah, not Bizzle. He though. knows. He know. Yeah, he, yeah. He's he's humble. He's got cool hair. He's laying in the cut. Laying in the cut. He has hair. That's kind of a big criteria for me. Yeah, people are immediately cool if you they know, have I'm, hair. I'm sitting right next to Sam. He has plenty of fucking hair. No, the problem is my hair. Just sits on the top of my big fucking round head. <laughs> you got a head like an anvil. <laughs> that's that's one thing I'm noticing. You that's gotta, a big fucking head, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've always thought, like, if I ever got into a fight, I want to be one of those people that does a headbutt, <laughs> you know? You'd and kill it, someone <laughs> if you did that. Look at this fuck. Like, <laughs> like a beluga whale. <laughs> forehead, like, sticks out like a fucking hammer. <laughs> It's like a sheet of drywall up there. It's fucking unbelievable. Oh, man. Yeah. Good for you. You know what? You got, a, got a big gamer brain in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah full of all sorts of knowledge. <laughs> the fuck do I know? Yeah, I found out today, fucking asshole here, went to like some nice-ass college. Bizzle, who's like the most unambitious person I've ever met, apparently went to an Ivy League college. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have know. guessed that. I feel like a fucking retard. He's like I, Forrest Gump. I guy. didn't even fucking he, finish high school. I heard like we heard like two seconds of his life. Yeah, he he, he he's lived more life than I will my whole life. Yeah, <laughs> already. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's he's got a very varied life. Yeah, I should have him on the podcast next. He's in town. Weren't, weren't you saying you were gonna do that? I'm gonna do that. I've made up my mind. It was a plausibility, but now it is a possibility. That is, it's going to happen. Even if I, it's at gunpoint. I might switch up the set, though. <laughs> I might not be laying in a bed with him. Okay. All right. Yeah, I didn't really prepare. <laughs> yeah, I, I told this fucker to come up with notes. <laughs> didn't prepare anything, so now I'm having, I'm having to scrounge here. This is the most unprofessional podcast I've ever hosted. 
Well, usually the person who hosts the podcast comes up with the material to talk about. Uh, uh, okay, here, let's talk about this. Let's talk about a very uncomfortable Uber ride we had earlier. So we have uh, 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 D-Bag Dave and... Uh, the <laughs> We had like the whole crew of people get into an Uber with a guy. I don't think anybody even said hi to him. The driver, <laughs> it, he was driving a van. We all hop in there and immediately every, like the conversation kept coming back to just super gay shit. Now I ain't got a problem with gay stuff. You know I mean? If you want to do gay stuff, that's fine. But I'm in a car full of a bunch of heterosexual men. Why does it keep circling back to Cox? Like that's all we talked about. And it was like a, 35 minute ride yeah it was a long ride of nothing but hyper gay shit next level gayer than sharing a, a, a queen size bed with your friend <laughs> was, out of all the things that happened tonight this was the most heterosexual yeah <laughs> this moment yeah just us in a in a couple robes yeah hanging out in our hotel room you know it it was very uncomfortable because it was just it kept circling back to it and it was like i was trying to escape the orbit <laughs> and then it would keep dragging me back into super like cock talk cock talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was uh, like it was a lot. It was, it was a lot, a lot. of cock talk. Yeah. So, anyway, so so we were taking the Uber and we we're going to we we're going to a hot nightclub, right? Which you would think, you know, a nightclub that sounds awesome because it's just a it's a building full of attractive young people mm -hmm. all dancing to the rhythm. You know, it smelled like a fart in there. It did smell like a fart in there, and it was so hot. Yeah, and it was a yeah. It was a Facebook gaming club event. And of course, you know we're big guys. We got a uh, uh, fifteen hundred subs. Or how much we got collectively? We got like fifteen hundred. Yeah, fifteen hundred subs, <laughs> and uh, maybe two thousand. I have like four hundred thousand. You have what seven fifty or something? I don't know. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty. So like a little over a million. Uh, yeah, something like that. So we Not got as much we got swelling, but you know we got forty five subs, and. Uh, <laughs> 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 we go to this uh, this Facebook gaming like nightclub thing, and they got like jams pumping in there. Can't fucking hear a thing. I'm an old guy. I don't want to see that shit and <laughs> or hear that shit. And then on top of that, it was just full of people that were not in the nightclub circuit. It's fine if you have a nightclub and you populate it with nightclub people, but they had a nightclub that they filled full of nerds, and so <laughs> it was just like this room. With music playing, with just people standing. Now I don't know if you've been in a nightclub before. Is that what they're all like? Because that shit was lame. Kind of. I've seen the yeah. Matrix Revolutions, and I figured people would be having crazy orgies and shit. In <laughs> yeah. You know, like when those drums are playing. And no, Morpheus it's is more. Getting the it's fuck more on. like what we just saw. Oh. Unfortunately, that was pathetic. Um, not quite as pathetic as that, but it was. It was. It was pretty par the course, I would say. That was worse. weak sauce. Because, like, you couldn't really get to the bar, so no one was drinking. Oh, uh, no, they just had a bunch free of drinks. confused people. They had free drinks, and the free drinks was, like, this guy with a bottle just splashing the bottom of a Solo cup and giving it to you. Yeah, yeah it was pretty, like... Yeah. Mm, yeah. It was pretty... And I don't even drink, and I was disappointed. <laughs> like, imagine... <laughs> I saw uh, Sir Winner. He, you know, I get the feeling he has a drinking problem. And he fucking... <laughs> He came in there and like he heard what they were doing with the alcohol and he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> so I'm getting the fuck yeah, out of here. We immediately went to uh, some house bar. Yeah. Uh, the name of the establishment was literally house bar, I think. Sam told me that was the first dive bar he's ever been to. Yeah, I You've lived in a very sheltered life. I have, dude. I never go like, out what, and do stuff. So like, like I'm a homebody, man. I don't Yeah, no, so am I now, but yeah. I didn't used to be. Yeah, I I've always been I was a, I was You're a homebody. an old soul. <laughs> I am. I really am. I'm yeah. like I I don't fuck with so like okay. the social life really. So you told me you never finished high school. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. So like, and oh yeah, I guess. Well, you met you met Abby like in seventh when grade when you were kids, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like the whole. The, I feel like the whole point of going out to, and drinking is so you can find a mate. That's right. I done found her when I was. A wee lad. So what were you doing during all that time when, like, everyone was, like, you know, when we were younger, like... Yeah, you were out looking 
for sex. I was just having it. <laughs> I right. would wake up, <laughs> have sex, watch Saturday morning cartoons. I was living the life. So, like, did when did you guys, like, start living together and stuff? Fresh out of what would have been high school. Oh, yeah? That early? Yeah. Okay, yeah. no, okay. What happened was I stopped uh, attending high school. And my mom thought I was. Oh. And so then the guidance counselor came to me and was like, came to my mom and was like, where the fuck did your son the at? The truant officer. Yeah. And and she was like, he's at school. No, he's not. So. so where were you going? Oh, I would walk out and go to the bus stop and my mom would pass me going to work and she'd be like, oh, he's uh, going off to school. And then the second she would drive away, I would fucking walk back to the house. <laughs> and then Abby would come over and we'd fuck all day. And then that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it what an education that was it was awesome it was <laughs> yeah you know if i could do it again i would <laughs> as a 28 year old me i'd do it again a- every day it turned out fine right yeah you're all yeah. right no so what happened was the um uh they ended up uh, they said he's not gonna pass high school we're gonna hold him back and it, he's got problems he sucks at, at everything but what he doesn't suck at is tests he's good at tests so what is nothing but tests? College is a lot like that. And so they did a, like a dual enrollment thing where I was technically homeschooled, but I was getting all my credits via uh, community college. Mm-hmm. And so I graduated, quote unquote, graduated high school. I got like a high school diploma and everything. And at the same time as I got my associate's degree, at the same time that everybody else was graduating high school my year, I just didn't graduate from my high school. Gotcha. So, you know, I mean, technically I, I finished uh, and I got my associates, but I didn't, I mean, it sucked. I mean, I, you know what? I have such a disregard for what, renegade. what a fucking high school diploma represents, not represents, but like people act like it has value. So what, what, what are you going to be like a fucking manager at McDonald's with a high school <laughs> diploma? Like if people are like, Oh, mean much these days. No, that's true. people are like, what, you didn't finish high school. I'm like, so what, even if I did finish high school, what, what are you going to do with it? What, what the, and it, I have an associate's degree. What are you going to do with that? Oh, wow. Now I can be a, uh, I could be a manager at a foot locker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a communications degree. What the fuck do you do with that? You, commu- work you do what ESPN. you do now. You communicate to 400,000 people. Yeah. And you tell them, hey. I ep- learned how to be a YouTuber. This is epic raid time with Aqua FPS. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how to break into a child's base and rust yeah. and make them cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually one of the things I'm going to ask uh, uh, Wellen. Yeah? Yeah. How'd you get so good at breaking into clan compounds and stealing all their loot? No, I, I think the logic behind this was like, since Trump has determined that violent games cause violence, how do you feel, um, you know, like you spend all these all this time breaking into bases in, in Rust, uh, how does it feel to influence an entire generation of cat burglars? <laughs> He has a video called like Cat Burglar or something. Really? Eh. Yeah. Eh. Oh, that shit's funny. You know, <laughs> we don't have those in America anymore. Cat burglars? It's not a thing. Yeah, we just have burglars. Yeah. People break in, they have a gun. Yeah. They're like, oh, if someone's here, I'll just shoot I them want, in the face. I, want, I miss the finesse to it, you know? The cat burglar. Yeah. Like, I, I have a friend in London that had a cat burglar. He was sitting there upstairs on Discord talking to him. And he all of a sudden just goes, he's, you know, he's, he's from England. So he's like, oi, what the fuck? And some guy had broken into his house. He has one of those security cameras in his living room. And you see this fucking, uh, you know, that how they have those refugees over there now. The refugee guy, like, reaches in through a window and unlocks his door. And he, he sneaks across the living room. It looked like a, a, like a fucking Wile E. Coyote cartoon. Like he was doing the sneaking you thing. Saw it? On his tiptoes. Yeah, he has a video of it. Tiptoeing in yeah, his he, Jordans. He was tiptoeing, like, not trying to m- not make any noise. Because in America, he would be like, I, if I'm hurt, I'll just kill the guy. <laughs> Over there, it's like, if I'm hurt, I have to get into a fight, a life and death fist fight. Yeah. You know, because they don't have any guns. And, uh, and, and, like, when he was walking up the stairs, he was, like, stepping on the outside of the stairs so they didn't creak and everything. It was hilarious. I'm like, you don't see that. Nobody in America does a, a cat burglar. We don't have those. It's wild. I feel like that that kind of went out with with the age of the serial killer too. You know. Yeah. 
It's none of that is a thing anymore. There's no there's no finesse to crime these days. It's just like uh, dude, nobody brute force and you know like nobody has more finesse than a serial killer. Yeah. They're like artists. I know <laughs> they they're kind of like you you almost like they're like the Andy Warhols of yeah. morticianers. Like I watched like a lot of like documentaries about them and stuff, and like they're they're very compelling individuals. And, like, yeah. Like you ever see that interview with Jeffrey Dahmer? No, he was weird though. He stands out. Yeah, he was like very like well spoken, like and like Bundy, all those. And guys. he had a good childhood. Yeah, all the other guys had a bad childhood. He had a good childhood, and everybody that talked to him was like, "Oh, he's a sweetheart." You know, like he, he was he was different. Yeah, because if you look at usually serial killers, they got some weird fucked up childhood. Their mom's crazy, or they have like weird dependency issues, or their dad beat the shit out of them, or yeah, you know, they're all like that. But like Jeffrey Dahmer, he was like, "Don't blame my parents," and his parents are like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> like they were like normal people, yeah, yeah, you know. And they were like, they were like, "What the fuck? We we raised you better than this. You don't drill the holes into the heads of your gay lovers, you fucking psycho." <laughs> and like, we pour didn't acid teach, in yeah, there. we didn't teach you that. Yeah, that's you know. Mm. That's something. That's an interest. I think you're born with. <laughs> you yeah, know, I don't really, think that's when, learned. Yeah, and however, however you're brought up, like drilling a hole into someone's head and like f- using a funnel to like put acid in there is like, yeah, that's some like, you don't know, just like being mad at your dad doesn't really bring that out nah. in someone. I, f- I feel like, uh, but yeah, you know, you know, one of my favorite that. serial killers is. Yeah. It's fictional. Little guy, you might know him. His name's uh, uh, Buffalo Bill. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's 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 the best. Yeah, he's the best. Yeah. You know, just making, uh, what is he, making vests and shit out of their skin? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Was she, a, was she a great big fat person? You mean that guy? Is he, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Wait, Jody I need Foster. to like, get into it for a second. <laughs> Jenny Foster's like, uh, yeah, she, she, she was kind of heavy, sir. And he's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I don't know her. <laughs> With the shh. Sure. She's very shh. Yeah. Jody Foster. Foster, yeah. 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 She was. <laughs> 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 Peeking through the door. Yeah. yeah I gotta yeah. like, I gotta like visualize it in my head. And he goes, it's like such a weird <laughs> sound he makes. It's he like, goes, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, like that. <laughs> That fucking guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird about that guy? Is he's like, he does that whole uh, goodbye horses thing with mm-hmm. like the, we, would you fuck me? And yeah. then, but he has like Nazi blankets all over his basement. And he's just a very. He was st- just like, they were just reaching in all different directions. Yeah. Like coming up with his character. They, they were like, this guy's insane, first and foremost. <laughs> yeah. We want him. We want, we want you to be a crazy guy. Yeah. We want you to, and then with the moths and all that shit, I don't know. Yeah, that a great movie though. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Was, uh, what, uh, what else was really great was um, Red Dragon, not the Man Hunter one. Was it Man Hunter? Yeah, Man Hunter. The the one that with Edward Norton, with Ray Fiennes. Didn't see it. Really? Yeah. Fantastic movie! Oh my god. Hmm. That yeah, that was great. That was a great movie. And and uh, uh, Anthony Hopkins was there for uh, Hannibal, or like he played Hannibal Lecter in that. Yeah, one too. he had like a cameo, right? Yeah, it was great. Hmm. Did you see the uh, Did you see the actual television show Hannibal? No, but I kind of wanted to watch that. Dude, it's it. got Mads Mikkelsen in it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. the bad guy from Casino Royale from the uh, Bond movie. Who keeps having to wipe the blood tear. Off yeah. His- yeah, he that, was good. That oh my god, he he makes. I'm gonna say this, and I don't I don't care if you guys get hecked off. He makes a better Hannibal Lecter than Anthony Hopkins on Jaw. What is this on Jaw shit? He keeps saying that. What does that mean? <laughs> don't even come at me with this. shit. What is that? I, I'm not gonna do. If you're not hip enough for it, I can't on even explain. It. I can't even explain it to you. All right. All right. I, I mean, I can infer what it means. Hands are off, dude. 
I'm not going to explain it to the old man if he can't even understand. I understand. I just, you know what I'm makes, just curious you know, where it came from and you know why, would make why me, you've never said it before today. <laughs> and now I've heard you say it like probably eight times today since you got here at 5 p.m. <laughs> and it's like 11 right now. Yeah, Is it 11? This, what time is it? I don't know. This, this is what we did after the party. <laughs> yeah. Sam was literally like, we were at the bar with everyone, and Sam just looks at me. He's like, you want to get out of here? Like it's, that. it's one o'clock. You want to yeah. go get in my bed yeah. in my hotel room and talk about the, shit? The bar we were at was so damn loud. Yeah. yeah. But you he know what like, makes... I don't like it. <laughs> you know what makes me really uncool? Mm. Having to explain to you what Anja means. I know what it means. I don't care. <laughs> Fucking move on. <laughs> Shut up. What is the matter with you? I'm trying to be young and hip. I got a young hip audience. That's true. Uh, Twelve. To I met a 12 lot. Of, I met a lot of them today. Actually, really? yeah. Were they young? Yeah. 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 Were they fat? I don't like fat Not people. Particularly. Okay. Now that now that you lost all this weight, you're like. I hate them. <laughs> if I could do it, you can. Yeah, if I see a single fat person, I'm going to karate chop him right in the neck. God! <laughs> Get out of here, fatty. That's what I'll say to him. Some of them were real mad. They're, they were mean to you, man. Really? Yeah, they were pretty pissed. Oh, that's They sucks. were peeved. You, you know what? The uh, And this sucks because like, the only two people I've met that recognized me in town were really nice. Oh, people people saw you in town here? No, no, I'm talking about like in my hometown. Oh, uh, yeah. One guy worked for Chick Fil A, and he he, got, he gave me cookies. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and that was awesome. And then the other guy was like, his name was um, Arlie, and he and he was super nice too. I've never been recognized in the wild. That's because you live in fucking New York City. You yeah. know, you know what? Walking around on the streets of New York City is like you never see anybody else's eyes. People They're, don't even look at each they other. They look at their feet. You know why? It's such a close knit place that is so emotionally distant like nobody makes any human contact that's true that's why that movie the joker um. is such a compelling idea because <laughs> it's like he's lost within society he's like in the center of it all but it's just by the way have you seen that last trailer yeah holy yeah. dark shit that i movie's can't gonna wait be for awesome. that it's gonna what be a great, great cast yeah joaquin phoenix yeah. perfect they should have gotten river phoenix but you know i'll settle for joaquin <laughs> Damn that Viper room, <laughs> you know. God uh, damn. But yeah, that that movie looks insane, man. And yeah. plus, whoever that girl is that he's like falling in love with, you know, she's got she uh, she's hot as shit. Hey, bro, let's kill this honk. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I hope it's something good. <laughs> I don't know what any of these are. It's probably some fucking Norm McDonald <laughs> soundbite. I think most of them are. 9-11. <laughs> yeah. Like, how many times can you do that and still laugh at it? <laughs> I just laugh that he's <laughs> laughing as he says it. He goes, yeah. 9-11. Like, you can tell he stopped laughing in order to say it. <laughs> uh, and I don't understand the context of it. I've watched, <laughs> Not, I've watched the podcast it came from, and I have no idea where it popped he's, up. It's still as random as it sounds. Yeah, it is. It's completely <laughs> un... Yeah. I think it was during that like nine eleven jet blue airline joke where he's talking about like uh uh jet blue got rated best for customer satisfaction this year. You know what airline rated the worst at customer satisfaction? Nine eleven airlines. He's like, That's a horrible name for an airline, it reminds me of that tragedy. And then <laughs> and then I think he pauses and just goes, Nine eleven <laughs> he says out of nowhere. And just laughs yeah. hysterically over that. That's something else. Oh, that guy's insane. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Did you see the new Dave Chappelle special? Yeah. Did you like it? How, it came out like in like last year, right? No, it came out like fucking four minutes ago. Oh fuck. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, it was one that came out like less than a week ago. Oh shit. I saw the trailer for it. It's got Morgan Freeman narrating it, just like the last one. And it's Dave Chappelle walking out in the middle, middle of the Salt Flats wearing uh, uh, an outfit from the year 3019. Really? <laughs> he's got on some Rick Owen Is shoes. Is this like a Netflix special? Yeah. He's got on like How Rick Owen shoes. This? He's got on leather jean things. And he's got on this. You know how he's like ripped now? He's all bulked up. 
Yeah. He's like shredded. It's weird. I he's don't, like I don't shredded. Think I like that. And then he's got like this skin tight shirt on that goes like to his knees. <laughs> it looks like a tunic that like Robin Hood <laughs> would wear. And it's like way too long. I bought a shirt one of, like that by accident. Um, I didn't realize just, how long it was. Yeah. You just look like you belong in Whoville. Yeah. Like, I put it, like I put it on. And I was like, <laughs> I look like I'm four feet tall. Why would I wear this? <laughs> This looks, re- this looks it's like ridiculous. Instant Danny DeVito. Yeah. As soon as you like, put I it on. bought it because, like, it, I like the color of it. And, like, yeah. it had, like, these cool little cuts in the side. So I was like, ah. And I didn't, like, hold it up or anything. I just, like, bought it. And it and it was the stupidest looking fucking shirt. It like went down to my knees, so I had these like little legs just poking out the bottom. It was like he was like wearing a dress yeah. with jeans underneath it. It was very unusual. Uh, I, I don't understand the look, to be honest. I think you need to wear like those drop crotch pl- pants that Justin Bieber wears with him. Oh, so then yeah. everything is just lowered. <laughs> yeah. So you have these like little legs, these yeah. like ankle length legs that <laughs> stick out the bottom. You walk around like a penguin. Dude, oh, that Psy guy, he really brought those into the forefront with his Gangnam style. Oh, yeah. He had the drop crotch going on. That's how to do it. Yeah. I just feel like I would piss all over those when I, when I went to like the urinal or something like that. <laughs> Like, you yeah. know how, like, the urinal kind of cups towards you, mm-hmm. and then you, like, hover over it? Like, wouldn't your drop crotch pants, like, just bump up against that and get piss all over Oh, them? God, yeah. There's no pissing in those pants, dude. You could pull them all the way down. <laughs> to your ankles? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When All right, so when you use a urinal, yeah, where do you aim in the urinal? The I, side. I a, to, yes. Yeah. Yes. You got to get the this, cyclone. You know what you're talking about. The you urine cyclone. Yeah. I have coated so many pairs of pants with just like sprinkles of my yeah, own. Yeah, from going and right into the back. urine residue. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> that side. Now, if vortex. there's if there's an open stall, would you use that over a urinal? Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I usually I nav a stall if I can. Yeah, I don't. Unless like, there's walls at the urinal. If there's walls, no, it's I not. Don't care. It's not that for me. It's not like a privacy thing. It's like a, I don't. Like I've always thought in my head, like, what if someone just comes over here and just shoves me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I do pissing. that to my dad every time. Yeah. Every time I'm in a public bathroom with him, I just, oop, yeah. <laughs> I just push him. <laughs> he hates that. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I used to do that to my brother. I wouldn't, like, push him. I'd just grab him by the shoulders and just shake the shit out of him. <laughs> like, I wouldn't stop. It'd be, like, it's 10 seconds. It's a very compromised position. Yeah, There's like, what, what are you going to do? do? Yeah. Yeah. You can't, like, <laughs> let go no. midstream. You got to just, like, deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing. All different. of a sudden, he gets sailor legs, and he's just sitting there bobbing and weaving with it, trying to piss in the urinal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you know, it is... uh. It is uh, a 1 a.m. In right. person, live, in color, yeah. living color, whatever. Yeah. Anyways, it is getting kind of late, so just turn off your light when you're going to bed. Yeah, it's just. How do I turn that off? There we go. Good night. All right. We're going to just. Can I get out of here now? <laughs> <laughs>